Hello friends, welcome to my channel Creating Essence. I am Megan and thank you so much for stopping by today. Today I'm sharing with you a really quick, easy and healthy recipe to put in the crock pot. A great staple and really, really nutritious. It has just four basic ingredients, a medium sized butternut squash, two onions, a head of garlic, and in here we have fresh homemade chicken stock. If you'd like to make this vegan, you can certainly use vegetable stock. The first step is going to be cutting this butternut squash into big cubes and peeling it. Once it's all seeded and peeled, we can chop it up into chunks, about like that. Now on to the onions. These don't need to be chopped up small. About the size of the squash is fine. Now we're gonna give it about five or six cloves of garlic. The ones on this head are pretty small, so we'll probably do more. Gonna give it a good sprinkle all over with pink Himalayan sea salt. Grind in a little pepper. If you don't do fresh ground black pepper, you do not really know the true flavor of pepper. It is so good. It makes all the difference in the world. Hi, Mama. Hi, honey. Everything's set in there. We just need to add eight cups of stock. Put the lid on and turn it on to high for about four hours. If you're gonna be gone longer, you can turn it on low and let it go about six to eight hours. We are home from our errands and the soup is just a bubbling. So I'm gonna get out the immersion blender and puree it nice and smooth. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can certainly put it right into a blender canister to puree it up for you. All right, it is all nice and smooth and it's about the texture of tomato soup. So it's not really thin, but it's not like a thick bisque or anything. And that is it. It is ridiculously easy, has very few ingredients, and it's actually super healthy. I like to do the soup on days like today where I have errands to run. I just put that in the crock pot before we left. When I got home, I pureed it. I'm making some paninis real quick, and that's gonna be lunch in less than 10 minutes of hands-on time. I will put the ingredients in the info box below in case you would like to see them written out. If you like this video, as always, my friends, give us a thumbs up, share it if you think anyone might find it useful, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Bye-bye, friends.